we all face adversity, we all face problems, and you have to make a decision. Am I going to be part of the solution? Or am I going to do something about it? Or am I going to sit on the fence or, and, and ignore it? And as a and doctor... you had a comfortable life at that moment, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, um, I wanted to do... Uh, I wanted to put my medical knowledge and skills to use, um, and so I joined the humanitarian effort and... Um, um, helped to co-found uh, an, a charity called Hand in Hand for Syria, and so um, we'd go back and, and, and carry out medical missions, but we'd help to set up six hospitals in the north of the country. Um, and really that whole time was working with various Syrian doctors, nurses, and aid workers, um, and was just completely shocked, actually, at what I'd seen, and not because of the death and devastation, but because I'd always sort of thought that it was the big charities that were going around saving the world. Um, I didn't really realize that the reason people survived in crisis was because of the work of the people in crisis themselves. 